Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Dietschy, Rents with Beachy. Welcome to another video today. We are talking about productivity apps. So it's kind of like a what's on my phone video, but also what's on my computer, and mainly how to use certain apps on how to stay organized with footage, pictures, passwords, internet, some things. And shout out to Fossil for sponsoring this video. They have very cool smartwatches. This is the Sport smartwatch, and we're gonna dive in a little bit into their Fossil app. Okay, so let's just get in to it. Do you guys like my pop socket I got in South Korea? So we have the first page, which is really the only important page because these are the apps that I deem special enough where they need to be one click away. <laughs> Going back to the first page of apps, I still use Apple Calendar. Um, it's just easy to keep an aggregate of your um, your different Google calendars there, which is really nice. Zoom out, get kind of a list view. As you can see, there's always a ton of stuff on my calendar in terms of logistics and my everyday. Where I'm going to be, whether I'm traveling, I have different meetings, but I also schedule my videos on here so I know, hey, that video needs to go up today. We have apps that correlate with each other, so my camera is next to photos, photos is next to Visco is what I edit my pictures with. YouTube Studio and YouTube right next to each other. We have the Things in Asana app. So these are productivity apps that help me make YouTube videos, uh, organize my life. These are probably the only like non-Google apps on here. So Things is just basically a lot of lists. I used to use Things for everything, so I need to go through and delete some stuff now that I use Asana. But this is just good for checklists. So you can make different projects, you can go into the checklist, check them off, but each check mark can have notes and another set of checklists. So it's checklists on top of checklists, if you like bullet points. <laughs> you can also assign a date to it here. And then you can of course have different checklists below these different projects like work and home. You have a logbook to see uh, when you checked off things. It's very, very satisfying. Upcoming, so that'll be tasks that are assigned to a date. They'll put it there. And then today, what do you need to get done today? I don't really use a lot of the calendar feature anymore, but I just throw in checklists into my inbox and then I still very actively use this video ideas project. I'm out and about in the world, I think of a thing, I gotta put it down on the checklist for video idea because when I'm sitting in my office, hmm, I need to post a video this week, next week. This this comes in handy. Second screen of apps, you know, I don't use as much, um, but you know, having the Google Docs sheets and slides is so handy because everyone is familiar with that, familiar with the collaboration that comes along with sending a doc. Fly Delta app, I am like team dealt all the way. I've almost reached diamond status, which is gonna be, I should probably stay home more. <laughs> have some smart home stuff. I tried I tried to move Instagram and Twitter to the second page to see if it'll make me uh, use it less. Has it been working that great? Here's all the photo video apps I have, creativity apps, we got finance, we got Adobe, travel apps, all of the things. I love hotel tonight. Postmates, seamless for food because I'm, I'm, I'm a New Yorker. But again, this last one that I wanna highlight is Google Photos. Now, I don't know exactly what the rule is, but when I signed up, they said unlimited storage until like 2020 or whatever, if you get in now. Of course, they do resize your picture a little bit. I think they shrink it down about a thousand and pixels. I just use this as a backup. It's basically a dump of all of my pictures that I take on my phone. So if I lost this, I can access my Google Photos and I would be saved. And then we have the Fossil smartwatch app. So I actually use their hybrid smartwatches more for just my everyday life. So it looks like a real watch, but it actually has smart features and you never have to charge it. So basically I have certain things assigned to the buttons so I can control my music with this watch that again, looks like a normal watch, but also I've set up notifications and I've I've used this in a way cause I, I kinda wanna live more of a notificationless life. And so I want my wrist to buzz only when the important stuff comes Comes through. So I have my boyfriend and my mom and then Delta notifications. So I know the exact moment to check in so I can maybe get that upgrade. But of course, if you want more of those smartwatch capabilities, this is the Sport smartwatch. 
You have the Fossil smartwatch app where you can do a lot of customization, but also it's attached to Wear OS. The setup is fast and very easy. If you're a person on the go all the time, you can of course track steps, count calories, but also access a lot of your apps by a push of the button. Being in the city, I get around in many different creative ways, including electric skateboard, mopeds, so having Google Maps right on my wrist is a huge convenience. So I can have everything on my wrist, whether it's the subway or I'm hailing an Uber. I wanna change my Spotify song, I need to respond to an email to a friend, it's all there. If you want to learn more about the Fossil Sport smartwatch or just their smartwatches in general, their hybrid watches, they have so many options. Okay, so basically why I've switched all of my apps, all of my workflow to kind of stock Google apps or websites like Gmail, Google Drive, is because it works cross-platform wonderfully no matter if you're on an iPhone, you're on an Android device, you're on a PC, you're on a Mac, it makes workflow easy and that means the only thing you have to worry about is just what hardware where do you like? Let's start out with email because that's kind of the center of productivity, running a business. I've actually moved on from the, why is New York noisy? So I've actually moved on from Apple Mail. So this started when I moved away from my MacBook last year. One of the frustrations is you only get five gigs of cloud storage. I have a lot of emails, as you can see, that's a real number of emails I need to go through. So I keep hitting that max with my notes and my mail. With Google, you automatically get 15 gigs of storage and I have multiple Google addresses. So it's very easy to keep it organized in the Gmail app. And you can also do an aggregate mailbox you just click all inboxes and I have my five emails in there. The other reason why I was on the hunt for the perfect mail app, I wanted it to be smart, so I checked out Spark Mail, all of those things, but it's very rare to find one that works well cross-platform. And when I went back to the Gmail app, I discovered, oh, look, it has smart features. It has this primary inbox, which is the emails that you should probably answer, and then it separates it into social things, so you don't need all of the spam. Look at this. Tumblr. Tumblr Vimeo. <laughs> Why is that in my inbox? And then it has another smart inbox, which is called important. So look, it's pulled in some of my flight information, emails from people in my contacts. It just, it does some of the work for you, which is nice because you don't want to spend all day in your email. And I was nervous. How is it going in between inboxes? But it's easy. You click the icon and then you just switch in between your inboxes. Boom. Easy. Look at this, the integration with my Google Cal is so clutch. I have everything here on the right hand side that I need to know. And also when it gets into notes, I use Apple Notes all the time and you can actually open that up via iCloud. You just log in via the web, iCloud.com. There are your notes. However, I think I'm gonna start using Google Keep because look, you can access it right here as a little toolbar. Look, click in on it. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I need to copy this link to put in an email. Copy over here, click on the email tab, reply, boom, you're good. There's also a lot of add-ons you can do like tasks, Asana. I'll talk about Asana in a minute. So if you were looking for me to reveal a juicy email client where you pay $10 a month for, hey, I just say use Gmail. It's actually really easy to use, maybe you just have to train your eyes to get used to something different than the Apple Mail. You know, it's weird when you're used to one thing for so long. Jumping to something new takes some getting used to, but it took me like a week and it's very easy to use and it's smart. Smart inboxes, smart life. So I knew I made the right choice by switching over to Asana for productivity, organizing my projects. When I went to VaynerMedia recently and I saw DRock's computer with his big content calendar in VaynerMedia, Team Gary V actually runs on a Asana and there was so much more impressive than mine because I kind of just started on mine and I got to reorganize for this month because I kind of lay out the calendar every month. So it's very similar to Trello to where there's boards where you can move it in between individual lists with
live in a project. So this is YouTube videos. This is where I put all the videos that have sponsorships attached to keep the wheels on the bus rolling over here. Within each of these tiles you see here, you can click into it. You can assign it to different people. You can assign a due date, the outline of the video, the description of it. And then I usually put my outline of my videos or if there's anything that has a script, I'll put it right here in the description of the project. I know this is getting like super meta on you. And then the coolest part, if you have dates attached to it, you can go to this timeline and see everything on a timeline. So you have the dates up at the top um, and then you can, you know, make them longer depending on how long the project is going to last. I feel like I'm giving away stuff. Oh well, it's the, the raw and the real over here, right guys? You can also go into a calendar form and then you have all of your due dates in the calendar. And what's cool about Asana is you can have a ton of different layouts. So each project doesn't have to be this board view. It can be a lot of different things like different tasks. Unfortunately, my favorite feature timeline, it does cost every month, but Asana minus timeline is completely free. So going back to the free thing, Google Drive. Google Drive is actually what I use to send footage to any editors that are helping me. So my podcast, That Creative Life, I have someone who edits that for me. So I have everything organized in Christina to edit. So we have the final graphics that she needs to use, the full episodes that are uploaded to here after they're done. We have the podcast clips where I upload to youtube.com slash that creative life when the podcast is done. And then we have podcast to edit. And this is where all of the assets are that she needs to download. So if you click into one of these, it'll have all of the different angles, the audio, and then the finished premiered project. That's what my editor will upload any of the micro and trust me i have tried so many different services like dropbox and google drive is the most reliable and the fastest look at this 1.9 out of two terabytes used i gotta upgrade that storage it's cheap i think i only paid 9.99 a month for the two terabytes of storage and look we have the continuity over on the right hand bar we have my calendar we have the notes and then we have these tasks. Maybe I need to use the tasks again. Everything just gels together. It works. And again, if you need another Gmail, you go up here, you click the other Gmail and you're automatically logged in. And you can go up here and use sheets, go to YouTube. Again, I'm a YouTuber. So being able to just be logged into my YouTube account right here, my Google Drive, my Gmail, my calendar, it all just works. I need to clean up my Google Drive. This is just crazy. Look at all this stuff on it. Wow. Listen, so I know this was a lot guys, but basically this is how I stay organized and ready to go. Whether I'm here on my main gear desktop PC, I am on my Dell XPS laptop on the go. I'm on my iPhone. I'm on a Samsung phone. I'm on a Google phone. Um, Cause you know, I do review different phones and computers. So being able to access everything I need just by installing Google Chrome, having all of my bookmarks, having all of my Chrome extensions, having all my Google accounts there to access with my calendars and my email it's clutch. I hope this was beneficial. I know it was a little longer. It was probably very boring for the people who like the more out and about stuff, but I love watching these videos about process and workflow. So I hope it helped someone out there. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I did leave out a few things. So again, I'll respond in the comments down below. Check out Fossil. I'm a big fan of their watches. I have always been a big fan of their watches. Thank you for sponsoring this video, Fossil. Until next time, guys, stay peachy. Also like this video. Also subscribe. Okay, bye.